First things first, a little cold start. So you're thinking about getting a Hellcat spoiler and wicker bill for your 11 through 14 Dodge Charger. Well, this is the video for you. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it the right way and you actually don't wanna buy like a Hellcat spoiler. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So basically y'all, what I have laid out in front of me, uh, to the left, this is a like OEM style Hellcat spoiler and to the right is a little bit of a different spoiler and both of these spoilers are from chargemotorworks.com not a sponsored video i just think they make a game-changing product honestly you can see here cmw uh, charge motorworks um so if you guys want any products in today's video just go ahead and check them out like i said not a sponsored video but they make a, truly a game-changing product so um basically yes this is a stock uh oem style hellcat spoiler so the main difference between the oem style hellcat spoiler and this one is called the fat cat spoiler on their website um they look pretty fairly similar. Um, nothing that you would necessarily notice right away or someone who doesn't have this car wouldn't notice right away. But the biggest difference here, if you look around, uh, I guess we'll call this the brim, the perimeter of this here. Uh, the OEM style has a flat surface and the fat cat kind of has these little things coming out of the mold of the, uh, of the spoiler. And that's the big game changer here. And basically what these do, um, there are holes on the opposite side for you to actually, it covers up the, the OEM holes from factory that come with this spoiler. So I'm sure you guys have maybe seen people run these Hellcat spoilers, the OEM style, and they have these holes here that they just kind of plug up. Um, and I really didn't want to deal with that. Um, cause I, so basically I didn't know this spoiler existed at first, the fat cat spoiler. So I was like, okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to buy this Hellcat spoiler. I'm going to have to fill the trunk. I'm going to have to, you know, grind down the filling to cover these holes and then repaint it and blah, 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 blah. It was going to be a huge process. But then I figured out that chargemotorworks.com has these fat cat spoilers and these uh, cover your factory holes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that and I'm going to show you all how to install it. So let's go ahead and get into it. They also have these, they have a couple different style wicker bills. I don't remember exactly the style this one is, but um, I also have this piece of uh, acrylic in the middle. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to install it. And after I show you guys how to install it, I'm gonna be going over um, everything that is done to my charger, just in case you guys are curious, because I get comments all the time on you know certain pieces. So if you're curious about that, make sure to stick around to the whole video, but let's go ahead and get into the install of this spoiler. It's pretty easy. One super key detail that I missed is um, basically all the spoilers, you can they can come painted with your paint code. And they also come pre-drilled with these inserts here. Um, and they come with all the hardware and everything. Here, I'll show you the hardware they give. It's pretty cool. You got, uh, there we go. It's like a countersunk sort of washer and then the bolt. So it's all clean. They provide all that stuff for you. Everything's pre-drilled. And like I said, you give them your paint code. My paint code is PX8, black. Um, and then they painted these for me and sent them right to me. So yeah, that's a key detail. So, but now I'll get into the install, y'all. So the install of this is actually pretty simple, guys. You got uh, this little like rubber screw here, two, one on each side. And then you basically have to pull the screw out of this handle right there. I don't know if you can see it in there, boom. So three screws. And then you have these little plastic corners, which I kind of pried this one open. Um, you kind of want to be careful with these because they do snap, but you can just get a screwdriver in there, kind of pry them, mine are already kind of loose. And then you got to be careful. You have this tab right here that needs to come out on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take these off. I might be able to pull it off right now. Um, yeah, just like that, as you can see, I don't wanna crack them, so I'm gonna put the camera down. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you first start this install, and then you can kinda peel this carpet back, and then you're already good to go. Well, this is kind of embarrassing, but I forgot the screwdriver to take off this screw, so I won't be able to take off the whole carpet today. But I mean, I'll show you basically guys the gist of it. So we have this little plastic cover off here, as you guys can see. 
Sorry if I'm shaking, it's freezing outside right now in Michigan. Um, it's winter, but yeah, so, and you guys can see here, this is like the little clip I was, or the little uh, insert I was talking about. Just pops right off. You wanna use like a flat head screwdriver or something. Um, so once this comes off, you can basically pry the carpet all the way around. Um, and you can see here's already one bolt. And obviously there's four. There's gonna be one farther down here. And then opposite on each side, one top, one bottom. This is the top one. So it's pretty self-explanatory. And these are actually, where is it? Right here. So these are actually self-tappers and you wanna be careful with self-tappers with self -tappers if you wanna take them in and out. Basically, if you take, all, take out a self-tapper, um, they will basically like strip the hole. So if you're taking out a self-tapper, you wanna kind of loosen it uh, to the left twice and then go back over it once just so it doesn't, um, just so it doesn't strip through your your spoiler and what i mean by that so you have the self tapper pretend it's in my fingers here you tilt it or turn it left twice to loosen and then you'll turn it right maybe like a half turn just so it kind of uh guides through the threads if you ever wanted to take this off and you didn't want to strip it um so yeah guys that's basically it i mean it's literally so super, super simple four bolts there's one there'll be a second one here um covering the factory or you know basically yeah just using the factory holes the one here and one here and like i said everything is pre-drilled um so yeah guys it's pretty simple so yeah it's called a fat cat spoiler this changed the game for me again like i said so you don't have to you know try to put some ugly plastic or rubber plugs over these uh front holes and you're not gonna have to you know if you didn't want those um you'd have to like i said fill your trunk and then sand it down and repaint it and it's a pain in the butt so this is perfect for you guys. Just in case you guys were curious, so from the top, this is there's four bolts, like I said. This was the one that we looked at. There's one here, and then obviously there's one lower um, that I couldn't get off because of the handle bolt, and then the other side. It's the same thing, bolt here and bolt there. And like I said, when you go to take off your factory spoiler, if your car had one, it's the same bolts. It uses the same bolts. That's why this kit is perfect, y'all. And I mean, look how good it looks. It gives the car just such a cool appearance. Um, I think it's perfect. Like, I love the side profile. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you guys like it. But yeah, I uh, I didn't know about this spoiler at first, y'all. So I figured I'd make a quick video about it. I get some comments. So there you go. Charge Motor Works. Fat Cat Spoiler. Put in your paint code. They'll paint it for you. And they'll give you all the hardware and everything. Super easy install. Like, like literally the easiest install you could possibly do. So now I'm gonna go over everything else this car has done. Sorry about the wind noise, if you could hear it. Look how cold it is, y'all. My hands are like turning purple. So I'm not gonna try to drag this out too long, but basically this is my 2014 Dodge Charger RT all-wheel drive. Yes, this is the all-wheel drive version because I live in Michigan. And uh, you know, sometimes it snows and it's good to have all-wheel drive on a daily. So what this has got done, I guess we'll start from the front. Um, we have this like Lux Auto Concepts, um, T uh, tint for the side markers which i think looks great kind of transforms the front end honestly like it's crazy not having like that yellow amber there um and then we have the obviously srt8 front bumper and upper and lower grill and honestly the upper and lower grill probably cost just as much as the bumper i have the fog lights at home just uh have been too lazy to install them so i know comment me in the comment section down below i'm lazy i'm sorry i'm busy but um also we have the brake calipers painted red those have been painted for a while and the paint's held up i forgot exactly what paint i used um so yeah i'm sorry about that uh the wheels i get comments on all the time and these are actually um srt 10 replicas from bell tire and i got these back probably in 2015 this was like my first set of wheels that i bought and they were actually bought for i had a one of my first cars was a chrysler 300 and that's what these were for actually they're 20 inch wheels and uh they look great they just so happen to fit on the charger and the fitment of these things were so aggressive they they kind of stick out and the wheels have a good amount of concave into them i don't know if you can really pick it up on camera but they're super flush and they look great so i guess maybe try to go around to like a bell tire or maybe a discount tire look under uh, chrysler 300 and see if they have these srt 10 replicas if you're looking to get them for your dodge charger or challenger even um so yeah and also they are low this car is lowered on uh h and r springs i think they're the sports and it gives the car just such a good stance uh this car kind of rides like a monster truck from factory but yeah it looks gives it a great stance i love the look of it 
And uh, yeah, obviously we have uh, window tint, 20%. <laughs> and then, um, so yeah, nothing too crazy. We have the, like I said, Fat Cat Wicker Bill and Hellcat Spoiler, or the Fat Cat Spoiler, I should say. And then I have, I love this mod, guys. This was like one of my favorite ones to do. It's honestly so simple, but it was like, uh, I got these tips off eBay a while ago. I'm not sure if they make them, but I hated like the fake plastic i guess tip if you could call it that that they come from factory and i think this just gives it such a mean look and then i also have the lux auto concepts uh taillight tint that i did a while ago um one of the first videos on the channel honestly and uh so yeah and i think that looks pretty good gives it also a more sinister look kind of blacked out which i think this thing looks great um i have i have some carbon r mufflers with a resonator delete and stock cats um here we can take a look at this fitment again what do you guys think pretty flush i love it you can see it might be cambered in a little bit there don't mind that that's my uh tripod stand for the day because i'm by myself but so yeah that is the fitment i think it's pretty good car's a little dirty because it's winter and i don't wash it all the time and i pretty much just spray it down get the salt off and that's about it but uh let's go under the hood i'll show you guys what that has under there all right, guys, don't don't roast me in the comments, but this is under the hood. It is stock. It's the daily. I have this little uh, anodized red oil catch can that actually works pretty well. But I know this thing is absolutely filthy. Again, I'm sorry. This is the daily. Don't worry. The vets are clean. And uh, so, yeah, stock motor, stock air box, even um, just an anodized red oil catch can, which actually works very well. Got it from Amazon. But that's about it, guys. And my, my dream for this car was always to make it a dig monster. I mean, it's got the uh, the diff on the front since it's all-wheel drive. And there's a guy out on YouTube somewhere who's got a cop car, um, and he built the front diff, built the rear diff, and the thing just launches like an animal. And I've always wanted to do something like that for this car, and I still would love to, don't get me wrong, but since it's the daily right now, I can't just have this car down in the garage for, you know, who knows how long. So. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section down below. And maybe I could buy like a cheap daily that can just get me from work and back. Because um, I think it would be so awesome to get this thing just to be an absolute dig monster. Obviously, we'd have to raise it back up. Because um, if it squats or whatever, this thing just is going to rub like crazy. Um, and yeah, I think heads cam and full bolt-on E85, long tube headers, the whole nine yards. Plus building the front diff, building the suspension, rear diff, whatever. Um, that could be super cool because no one expects this car to be all-wheel drive Usually, you know, you see chargers rear-wheel drive, whatever or the V6s are commonly all-wheel drive But yeah, people kind of forget that these are all-wheel drive as well So I think that'd be something something crazy to see. I think that'd just be like the coolest build So let me know in the comment section if that's what you guys think uh, Would be kind of cool to see and we can uh, see what kind of track times we can get Because I know like these things are monsters. I've seen them built all-wheel drive. They're very few and far between but they're pretty sweet it's a very unique build i think it'd be cool and i love this car i absolutely love the way this thing looks i'm gonna keep it for as long as possible so yeah guys but there you have it that is the wicker build that i have the fat cat spoiler if you guys have any questions drop them in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to answer them but i think this thing looks great y'all i think it looks great and if if you want to do it the right way and not have your holes hanging out get the fat cat spoiler and It'll save you a lot of a lot of money in the long run because um, I know it'd be expensive to fill the holes, grind them down, sand and paint your your uh, trunk. So yeah, guys, I think uh, that about does it today. We have uh, some more content lined up. So if you guys like the content, let us know. Let us know also what else you think we should do in the future. But we have some good stuff planned with the C6, the C4, and this car, of course. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace out, y'all.